Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be an update video of my classic AI card tutorial. If you want to watch the original one, link is in the description. So we start up with our classic vehicle template. Let's go to the vehicle template, blueprints, sports car. So the sports car is the default car of this template. The first thing that we do is right click, duplicate. Let's call this AI underscore car. The second thing that we need is an actor. So right click, blueprint class, actor, and we call this path. Open this up. This gets one component and this will be just in spline component. Compound save this and that's it. We can close this. Let's open up our AI car. Inside the AI car, we can remove everything from the event graph here because we didn't need it. And we need one more variable. This is called active path. Active path is a path object reference, so the actor that we created. Also, we have to make a few adjustments to the vehicle movement component. So let's open this up here, go to the engine setup, and we have the max RPM. Let's set this to 4000, otherwise it will be too forced. And of course we have to uncheck the automatic transmission, otherwise you can't control the speed of the car. Compound save this as well. We need just one function that is called get path. We pull out our active path here, get the actor location. This will be the location of the car. We go from the active path and say find tangent closest to world location spline. Set the coordinate space to world and put the get actor location inside the world location. From the return value we say normalize and keep it like this. We go from the return value of this one, say multiply, right click on this pin, convert pin to float and put this to 200. Then we go from the vector and say plus and we just add up the get actor location to this one here. We go from the spline and say find location closest to world location. Again put this to world and the return value goes into the world location. Again from the get actor location we go back here and say find look at rotation. This will be the start and the return value of the find location closest to word location will be the target. We say get actor rotation. This is again the rotation of the car. We go from the return value here and say delta rotator. This will be B. Right click split structure pin. From the jar we say map range claimed. Put this here to minus 90, plus 90, minus 1, and plus 1. Then we say add return node. Put the return value inside here and just connect the get path function back to the return node. That's it. Compound save this. So we are nearly done. We go back to the event graph. We take out the vehicle movement here, say begin play. On begin play we want to set the throttle input to I would recommend 0.5. Also we need a tick event for the steering. So we go from here and say set steering input. Get our get path function here, connect it and the return value goes into the steering. Be sure that the active path is public. Compile and save this. Let's go to our map. We take out the AI car, pull it right here. We take out the path. And now we can just take the spline point and pull it to the end of the road, like this. And when you hold the Alt key, you can create a new one. And in this way, you can create a curve, as you can see like that. Great. Let's go to the details window, select our iCar and now we can select the path. And just for testing let's type in poses and we have the auto poses player. Let's put this to zero. And when we now hit play 
you can see the car is speeding up until it reached 50 and will stay there. It will calculate the steering with the spline, also in the corner here, as you can see. Great! So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye!